Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and this is uh, Pathfinder Solution Series and we are now uh, going to take up a problem from the topic of gravitation in the book. Uh, it's a simple problem but uh, I would like to give you a nice quick vector method in this particular problem to solve it. Uh, here it is. Uh, three material points of masses M1, M2 and M3 are at vertices of an equilateral triangle of side D and the system is rotating in free space such that a, uh, the mutual gravitational interaction of the three particles um, make sure that the system is neither expanding nor contracting. Find the angular velocity omega of this rotation and universal gravitational constant is given as capital G. In case you have not tried this question before, it's a nice simple question right at the JE advanced level. Uh, please make sure you give it an attempt and then go ahead with the solution that I'm going to give. Okay, right. So here the solution. The thing that you need to take into account is that the particular system is not expanding or contracting. That means you could say because of the net uh, mutual force of interaction is just gravitational in nature, the external force on the system is zero. Okay. So I would say that M1, M2 and M3 should remain at same distances from center of mass, right? Center of mass distance should not change for M1. Yeah, they will move to different positions, but this uh, distances I've marked in the problem as R1, R2 and R3 uh, should remain the same. Not just that, in this picture, I have marked the vectors, assuming that uh, origin is at center of mass. It makes the calculation simpler to assume origin is at center of mass. One very important caution that you need to note here is that uh, the center of mass is not at the centroid of the triangle because this is an equilateral triangle, but the masses need not be equal. So I've just marked it at a off center point. Okay, so each mass therefore should execute circular motion with center of mass as center in the CM frame. If someone is sitting in the CM frame and watching these particles, they should maintain this distance. It's obvious that they execute circular motion. Okay, so let's check for only M1 what it is doing. Okay, so M1 should execute a circular motion of radius r1 with o as center okay so for that uniform circular motion it requires a centripetal force that centripetal force should come from the gravitational force from the other two so in order to write that equation first let's investigate what is the force on m1 due to m2 okay so the gravitational force on m1 due to m2 i'll label it as f12 so force on one u to two i'll read it like that is equal to simple g m1 m2 by r square distance square distance is no, this one so which is given as d in the problem in, and i'm writing a unit vector in the direction directed from one to two directed from one to two in order to convert this unit vector into a normal vector i multiply and divide by d d is the length of that vector right so then this becomes a d cube and then i can write this uh, vector joining from one to two as r2 bar minus r1 bar this is a very nice interpretation of that uh, vector force. Then on the free body diagram of M1, just follow this, there will be two forces, one directed towards M2 and another directed towards M3. Surely these two resultant should be directed towards O to make it centripetal in nature, okay? So the net force is something similar to this term. You will have an F13 term, force on one due to three and add up to MR omega square, which I'm writing in vector form, uh, R being R1 bar, but force would be in the negative R direction. So I've written it in this format. Then F12, I'll just borrow this expression. Can you see as it is? And F13, I'll just replace two with three and g by d cube would be taken common and on either side m1 will exist and i've cancelled that m1 okay so i've made some manipulations here next important thing that i have not yet used that is the fact that o is center of mass right so m1 r1 bar plus m2 r2 bar plus m3 r3 bar divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 should be a null vector okay so i'll use this format to eliminate m2 and m3 here so just search for m2 r2 term and m3 r3 term addition of these two, I'll replace it with minus M1 R1 term. Okay. So what will I left, left uh, with left with? So M2 minus R1 term will be there. M3 minus R1 term will be there. And I'll get from here an M1 R1 term also with a minus sign. So I can take M1 plus M2 plus M3 out as common. And then it will get a neat, simple expression that it's common and minus R1 bar. And there's a minus R1 bar here also. Take modulus on both sides. 
cancel minus r uh, r1 or plus r1 because it's a modulus and then take a square root you end up getting a simple looking expression okay so this is a nice way to understand how the centripetal force can be written in this format and also the gravitational force in vector form right so this is a nice exercise of the two concepts okay so i hope you understood and like the solution the way it was done and now to check out the other solutions from the pathfinder series there is a playlist i have made the link is in the description below of different chapters i've made uh, the single playlist and then please make sure you go through them other playlists that are there in the channel are the olympiad workout series where olympiad problems would be given from the past olympiads and also new challenges aits select series one of the favorite among my subscribers where we will be taking up questions from the different institutes famous questions from aits all india test series and then uh, result series solves the doubts uh, that are asked by the students brilliant students get a lot of doubts and they would be uh, not able to find those answers in the textbook so those kind of topics have been taken up there all the links of these playlists are in the description below so please make sure you go through them and in case you like the content uh, share and subscribe to my channel and please make sure that uh, you come back to me in the next video thank you and see you in the next video